hello guys welcome to today's video so today we'll be discussing the chapter 16 of the book aviation and business management and the topic of discussion is mis you know mis stands for management information system so what exactly is management information system you know in an organization there will be so much of information or the data that you have to maintain let's say your employees data the raw materials Let's say you are into a manufacturing company, the raw material data, the supply chain data, the customer's data, the pricing of the product, customer's data and so much information has to be maintained when you are running an organization. So how you will maintain all this information with you is what all is about the management information system. You need to manage all the information using some specific systems and that is nothing but MIS. So starting with, you know, information system. First we'll go with the information system. Information system is a formal organizational system designed to collect, process, store and distribute the information. So like first you need to collect the information, what are the information you need, then you will process that information, then you will store the information and then you will distribute the information or you will save the information with you so that it is useful for you. So the information system is mainly useful for decision making, for coordination, control, analysis and visualization of information. Let's say you are uh, selling, uh, let's say biscuits you are selling. Let's say 10 rupees biscuits you are selling. Then, you know, you need to have, let's say you are manufacturing 1000 biscuits per day. Then you have to manage how many biscuits have been sold. Then what is the profit you are getting? What, how many biscuits were defective? So all these things like you will be maintaining. One simple example of this is you will maintain an Excel sheet. Let us say you will, you will enter all the details in the Excel sheet. What was the cost price? What was the selling price? How much profit you got? How much loss you got? So all these you are entering into this Excel sheet. So this Excel sheet is your MIS. So this Excel sheet is providing all the information you need and you are managing all the information in that system. So a simple Excel sheet is your MIS. It's a tool of MIS. So it is helping you to store the information and also get all the details with you. So once you have the Excel sheet with this, you can always decide as to how the you can take the decisions. Okay, my company is going in a loss or my manufacturing process is not good. So all this data will help you take certain decisions. So that is what is the useful of information system. So a simple Excel sheet is a information system tool. So what it does, it, it supports the operation management decision making. So that is what I have just said. This Excel sheet is giving so much information to you. So some important definitions we need to understand, you know, in MIS. One is the data. Data is a collection of facts. Uh, facts like let's say you are selling the biscuits okay 10 rupees biscuit is there 20 rupees biscuits are there 30 rupees are there but then these actually uh, let me give a better example let's say for a if when you're selling a 10 rupees biscuit packet you are earning a profit of 1 rupee if you are selling a biscuit packet of 20 rupees you are earning your profit is 1 rupee if you are selling for 30 rupees you will see 1 rupee only so in this case, this, this is data, okay, 10 rupees biscuit packet, 1 rupee profit. This is just a data, but then if you want to see as to what is actual the information you are getting from this is, you know, which is profitable, which is giving you more profit. When you are selling a 30 rupees product, you are getting only 1 rupee means it is less profitable. Whereas when you are selling 10 rupee biscuits, you are getting profit of 1 rupees. So the profit earned here is more. So you should sell more 10 rupees biscuits packet. So that is what you are getting the information out of this. So what we have done is we have processed this information. In the case of 10 rupees, we have, the profit is 10%. Whereas in the case of 20, it is 5%. Whereas in the case of 30 rupees, the profit is 3%. When you just look at selling 10 rupee biscuit packet and 1 rupee 20 rupees, it is not giving much information. This is just pure data. 
we have processed the data we have analyzed the data and then we have seen then we will come to know that selling the 10 rupees biscuit packet at 1 rupees is actually more profitable this is the information so a data is simple data whereas a processed data and we are, we are able to extract some information out of it then that is the information so if you go to with the definitions data is unorganized while information is structured this is the key term data as such is not typically useful on its own but information is when you just see these terms numbers 10 rupees 1 rupees 20 rupees 1 rupees 30 rupees 1 rupees you are not able to understand anything but when you are correlating it everything you are processing some mathematical function on it then you are able to extract that okay the profit you have on is 10 percent 5 percent and 3 percent so this is a useful information to you as such, the raw data is not so that is what you have to remember so data like generally numbers statements and information will be there so information to extract the information you need to have a data as we have done just just now you know to extract the information which is a useful you took the data of this selling rates of these products so information is processed organized data in a given context so that is what so these are the key differences between data and information so now mis deals with the information system so for that you need to understand the information which we have just now understood next what are the important components of information system the three activities produce information organization needs the three activities are first is the input which captures the raw data from organization and external environment first you need to have a system such that first how you will feed the input data to that you need to have input first let's say how many employees are there in your organization you need to know then you will feed the data in the excel sheet this is the first step next is processing converts the raw data into meaningful form now let's say you are making a pivot table of it and then you are performing some 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 operation or multiplying operation after that you will get some useful information so this mathematical processing which you are doing so you are trying to convert the raw data into the meaningful form so this is the second step third is the output after processing you will come to know that some of the employees are really good or who is performing well so that is the output so take the input process it and output give the output so these three are the pa part of any information system activities so that is the information activities now we'll move ahead with the computer information system as i've just said excel sheet is a simple information system so a computer likewise is also information system it is comp it is a system composed of people computers that process or interprets information computer and software are technical foundation tools needed for information system nowadays everything is done using the computer all the data manually nobody is sitting and doing it every data is fed, fed to the computer the computer and the software will eventually give you the outputs so nowadays the entire M mis is computer based this you can remember so what does the study of mis involves involves people processes and technology in an organizational context so people who are skilled who can operate computers or the software you need them next is the processes processes means how many people are needed how many working hours they will work so those things is a processes how will process next is the technology as i've just said with software you need to purchase all these things are technology so study of all this for how people you need what are processes you will follow and what all the technology we will use so these are the components of the mis so what is the goal of the mis is to increase the value and profits of the business by providing timely and appropriate information this is the key allowing to make effective decisions in a short time as i have just said increase the operational efficiency help managers take better decisions identify strength and weaknesses due to the presence of revenue reports employment performance records as i have just said once you have the reports 
once you have entered all the data into the excel sheet and your process you will straight away come to know how much profit you have earned or who is performing better so that is all the advantages giving an overall picture of the company whether the company is going in a loss or profit that you will come to know acting as a communication and planning tool this data is this information is helping you to get some information and also based on that information you can plan so it's a communication as well as a planning tool one more thing is effective management of customer data can help the company to perform direct marketing and promotion activities so you have some customer data so once you do a study and you do a perform a proper function on them then it will help you to do a target customer target advertisement or marketing and also can carry out the promotion activities so these are some of the advantages that you are getting next is disadvantages quality of outputs is governed by the quality of inputs this is applicable for anything so whatever output will be there it is dependent on inputs so if your data is not proper or not accurate then output also will not be accurate so it takes only account into qualitative factors ignores non quality factors like moral of the workers attitude so what it says you know qualitative factor is we are just looking at the numbers since this is a part of information system and only data is there and this data is only numbers or symbols or something whereas it doesn't see how many whether the employee who is working on this mis whether he is happy whether he is satisfied so all these things which are not non qualitative are not being seen the morale the attitude of the worker the personality aspects or the psychological aspects are ignored next is dependent on technology and hardware as i have just said technology a computer excel sheet which excel version you are using which computers you are using so it depend on the hardware and the software information may not be accurate as i have just said in this first if the inputs input data is not proper then output also will not be accurate so that is one of the disadvantages so you have to ensure that the input data is accurate so that your output information is accurate so this is a mis management information system how you will manage the information in your company such that it is helping you in decision making and it is increasing the efficiency of the company is what mis is all about nowadays mis is all computer based because everything is done by computer most of the time so, the, so there there are advantages and disadvantages you need to balance both of them so if you have liked the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos and thank you for watching